Hey everybody, it's Michelle here again from Kissed by Coco. Today I am cutting Japanese Haru and just soaked it a few nights ago. Or no, I'm sorry, I just soaked it last night. <laughs> I've been a soaping queen this past week, so my dates are a little off, forgive me. I want to make sure we're in good lighting here. Um, all right, so let's get started. Let me slide this down because it's too far. So Japanese Haru is one of our, like, if not the biggest seller. Um, it, it is one of our biggest sellers here at Kissed by Coco and um, it has a uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrant um, blend of Japanese grapefruit, ginger and lime. Nothing too crazy, nothing, you know, funny smelling what you see what you get is what you get in the end and what you smell now is what you'll get in the end so I love it my customers love it like I said it's one of our biggest sellers next to dancing sugar plum and lemongrass and black ice But I'm thinking, this smells so good. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to make another batch ASAP. Like right now. Um, just because I know what's going to happen with this one. It never fails. It sells out in two weeks. This is about my fourth batch of doing this one. I think third or fourth. And I really don't make it fast enough. It's all about getting the fragrances and sometimes my fragrance is out of stock at my supplier and sometimes it's there. These came out. I think these were the best. I did darken the color a little bit, my green color, just a tad. And the white is beautiful, beautiful. Sometimes I think that this fragrance helps the white to kind of, I don't know, get whiter. Because sometimes you can soap something and you add that white, honey, and it darkens it depending on the fragrance. But the fragrances that I use are what they call white fragrances for Japanese Haru. And I don't know. It always, I don't know, enhances the white to me. are gorgeous 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 and I actually just did my hanger swirl for the design here's my second loaf so let's see what this one looks like and I'm sorry if, if it's not enough light in here guys really and truly I am I think I'm blocking it. I'm trying to do this video fast so that Noah does not come in here and do his cameo appearance. 
Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, and I am really happy. So I think it's a definite go to make another batch. It's got a feeling. It never fails. It's not even a feeling. It never fails. It's going to sell out. And I, you know, I was thinking, <laughs> I really have to enjoy these subtle, well, sorry, this, the subtle ability to be able to cut all these bars individually, one by one. Because I think that once I open up my actual retail location, going to have to get one of those multi cutters so that I can fly through this stuff. So I guess I do need to be enjoying this. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. If you haven't watched any of my other Japanese Haru videos or cutting videos, um, I actually came up with the name myself. I just wanted to have a really pretty name for something to represent the springtime. And I did a little research and I wanted an Asian type name because the fruit that I was dealing with as far as the fragrance was an Asian fruit, Japanese grapefruit. And because the smell was so pretty, or is so pretty, Okay, so I had to make some adjustments to where my camera was positioned. Once I'm done, I will go through, not all of the soaps, but give you guys a glimpse. And of course, I always follow up each video with pictures. So. These smell so darn fabulous. Seriously, seriously fab. Uh -oh. Okay, so that is it. Here's a sample bar. All right, so let me grab the camera. Give you a glimpse. These are the bars I cut already. Guys, these are so beautiful and they smell wonderful. Seriously, seriously wonderful. Just a bunch of beautiful bars of soap. Can't believe it. And here are my other ones. I just really wish you guys can smell this. These smell fantastic. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.